Most doctors still treat hammer toes by destroying the joint, such as arthroplasty or arthrodesis. I used to do the same, but once I discovered minimally invasive technique, everything changed. So now I can correct the deformity, preserve the joint, and do it all in office in about 15 minutes per toe. So today I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like from cadaver lab footage that I teach in my cadaver lab small group workshop to solvent simulation to fluoroscopic proof of of precision and in cadaver actual demonstration and more importantly I will show you the real world results too and the evidence behind it. So let's start with the facts. Recent studies both prospective and retrospective have shown that percutaneous MISO steatomies of the proximal phalanx provide reliable correction of hammer toe and claw toe deformities with high patient satisfaction, significant pain reduction, and radiographic union. All without the need for hardware fixation. So one 2024 prospective cohort study of 43 feet using a distal osteotomy showed 88% satisfaction over 95% willing to repeat the procedure and zero recurrences. And VAS scores improved from 4.9 to 0.3. And that's real pain reduction. Backed by data, another 2021 study found 100% union in patients treated with a diaphyseal shortening osteotomy with VAS score improving from 4.9 to 1.62 and again no recurrences. And in one audit of nearly 300 MIS digital surgeries, only one superficial infection was reported with no neurovascular injuries. Compare that to actual traditional open surgery where complication rates can reach 50%. And this is not fringe. This is not experimental. This is evidence-based medicine. It just happens to be so new to many doctors. And if you're a doctor who wants to learn it the right way, that's where we come in. At our private cadaver labs, I've done 39 labs in the past eight years. We work with small group of doctors who are serious about mastering this skill, not just watching, but doing it. Our MIS intensive certification program also gives you that structure, accountability, hands-on labs. So you need to become truly confident and our MIFAS elite community, it's a private membership community, gives you continuity, access to weekly Zoom coaching, over 2,000 recorded MIS cases, and ongoing membership. So now let me show you what this actually looks like. Here's a quick run through of typical MIS hammer toe corrections. First, I'll show you the cadaver footage. So let's dive right in. So you'll see the burn motion and how we use tactile and auditory feedback to navigate the anatomy. Then we'll zoom out to sawbone. Okay, and this video, again, I have a full video for my members inside of our MIFAS Elite community. So if you're interested, please, again, drop a comment or send me a DM or send me an email or click the link below and schedule a session with me. So I'll show you in a cadaver here how I do hammer toe in 15 minutes the right way so basically this is plantar approach um, you know you got to again mark if you need to using fluoro so you know exactly where you're cutting right so then after I use 62 blade here and I make an incision right there to the bone and then we do a slightly re-angle redirect and then do the flex flexor tenotomy right there um, and then toe becomes nice and loose there I did a third toe here, flexor tenotomy too, by making, because my plan was to do both second toe and third toe osteotomy at the proximal phalanx base and middle phalanx in this case. You know, you can see do the flexor tenotomy and toe gets loose. Um, and let's see. Extensor tenotomy, by the way, it was done before. And use elevator to, again, I just demonstrated you know, create a nice portal, and then this is rasp action, and you rasp where you're going to make, uh, you know, the uh, osteotomy, and then this is the MIS drills right now, so, you know, go from medial aspect of the base of proximal phalanx, and then I go gently in and out motion, carousel motion, and you basically saw it from medial to lateral of the base of proximal phalanx as you can see my motion and again by whole time you have to feel it by relaxing your hands and not, not speeding up and utilize the, the torque of the you know MIS drill set 
so that you don't burn bones. That's like critical. And you know, I show you here in a plural where I'm pointing out the uh, base proximal phalanx, the osteotomy, so that you know you know where exactly where you made a cut. Make sense, guys? Okay, you can see right there at the cut at the base of second phalanx. And in this, I'm demonstrating middle phalanx osteotomy, right? Make an incision, create a portal, and then rest it right here so that there is no soft tissue around it. That's the most important thing. You know, you want to make sure you really sneak in kind of, right, under the soft tissue, and then basically make a surgical fracture, you know, like osteotomy. And the location we choose is all very stable area that you don't really need to fixate. And then I kind of proved the point by showing you guys some case studies and uh, evidence-based uh, studies, right? The effectiveness of this type of MIS osteotomy, MIS hammer procedure. Now that second toe is done, the uh, proximal phalanx is done, middle phalanx is done, and you can see here's the base and then here's the middle phalanx, the second toe. Sounds good? Well, then let's zoom out to sawbone to help you understand what's really happening behind the surface. Because if you look at it not by doing it just on cadaver, you exactly don't know where you're cutting, uh, what you're doing. But beneath the surface, you need to learn what's happening. Okay, this is sawbone demonstration of hammer toe. Like I said, it takes 15 minutes for me to do it. And again, let me show you. But I'm by all means, I'm not rushing this. And of course, I don't want any doctor, any surgeon to rush on this. But just normal, natural workflow really for surgical procedure itself takes 15 minutes. I have full educational source in our membership community. But for this video's sake, I'm going to um, kind of show you the highlights of it. So let me play this. First step is really incision like you need to know the incision portal in this um, hammer toe particular proximal phalanx osteotomy I use plantar approach but I'll show you also a dorsal approach as well but after this you know you do a rasp you use elevator to create a portal safely without any sharp instrumentation here and then you do rasp to kind of roughen up and the the cortical you know shiny area slippery area of the bone Right now, I'm aiming at the flare of the, the base. So that's where you're going to introduce uh, MIS drill set, right? And my non-dominant hand, I was just showing, non-dominant hand stabilize the toe and create that plantar flexor motion, the force, so that it creates plantar flexor uh, wedge so that you can drop down the uh, typical hammer to deformity at the base. Now, again, notice I'm not touching or destroying the joint. It's at the basically osteotomy of the uh, base of proximal phalanx. I'm going basically cutting across from medial to lateral in this or right foot in this case. So you can see toes fl plantar flexing. I'm going to show you the this is a dorsal approach. So you can do plantar or dorsal. And this is dorsal approach making a pilot hole right now. And you create basically wedge from the pilot hole, create a plantar flexory wedge. So here is the basically creating pilot hole and create a plantar wedge. And then you can also check it with the x-ray if you want to. Like I disengage, you know, so that you can look at it under floral in this scenario. You can reattach and then finish the your osteotomy. Here basically I'm reattaching it. So this is uh, slightly more fail safe. But it all depends on surgeon's, you know, preference. I like plantar approach, but, you know, certain cases, obviously, dorsal approach works great. After that, this is middle phalanx osteotomy. So this is dorsiflexory wedge osteotomy, basically. So you're coming, coming from top to bottom. But again, you follow the same principle, incision in a right portal, create a portal with the elevator, rasp the uh, top of the bone to, you know, make that uh, MIS drill setting to engage better. And then basically you go from top to bottom, kind of broken off right now. It's, you know, you can see from my demonstration on, on sawbone there, top to bottom. So really that's the kind of essence of it inside of showing, you know, what's going on in MIS hammer to procedure in the uh, sawbone format. Sounds good? Yes, that cut is exactly where we planned it. Nothing is blind here. It's just a different way of seeing and feeling. And this is what we teach. 
how to heighten your senses, improve your accuracy, and shorten that your learning curve without sacrificing safety. So before I wrap, here are a few key things to remember. Proper bandaging and splinting are critical. They act as your external fixation. So hands-on cadaver lab training is non-negotiable. And we also show you and work dressing workshop as well at our workshop. And having the right instruction or instructors matters. You need that solid structure, proven mentorship, and repetition with rock solid documentation and resources. Not just a weekend crash course, that's why we built this system. Our community reviews 20 to 30 MIS cases every week over Zoom call. We built a full online platform with step-by-step -step surgical walkthroughs and we show you exactly how to set up your own office-based surgical suite with the workflows, documentation, and clinical confidence to make it real. So if you're ready to explore this further, you can book a free strategy session with me and my team. We'll see if we are a good fit to work together. And don't forget, subscribe, drop a comment, hit that like button, follow my channel, and let me know if you want to see the Bunyan version of this next. Thanks for watching.